Hi, I'm John Badal, chef proprietor of North Branch Gourmet. We're a Chicago-based food company specializing in Chicago-style barbecue sauce, savory jams, and compotes. Uh, I'm a 2010 Kendall graduate. I've been invited by Kendall and National Lewis University to demonstrate a backyard baby back rib demo. Uh, during these trying times of coronavirus, uh, it's important to remind ourselves of what's important, family and friends, and meeting each other at the dinner table. So in order to get started first, I'm gonna give you a walk through the supplies that you're gonna need to get started. Uh, we're gonna start with our tongs, a knife, a cutting board, gloves, a rib rack, paper towels, aluminum foil, charcoal, whatever you prefer, Royal Oak, Kingsford, lighter fluid. I've got hickory and oak soap uh, wood chips and uh, chunks. And then we're gonna do our barbecue sauces. And then our slab of baby back ribs. So here at North Branch Gourmet, we're gonna use some high quality ingredients that we use to blend for our barbecue sauces. I've got two here for you today. Our Windy City style uh, barbecue sauce, which is sweet and smoky. Um, no high fructose corn syrup in any of our products that we use. Uh, we craft it with uh, tomato, molasses, honey, uh, coffee, and chipotle chili peppers. Now our mustard that we're gonna use for our binder in order to maintain the spice rub on our ribs is a mustard-based Windy City style barbecue sauce. So we use whole grain mustard, honey, and sriracha. Now, our North Branch Gourmet Low and Slow Spice Rub is a blend of turbinado sugar, hickory smoked sea salt, and a couple of low country uh, spices that we blend ourselves. Uh, garlic, paprika, uh, onion powder, a little cayenne, a little celery seed, um, but it's a sugar rub that's gonna go perfectly well with our baby back ribs. All right, so these are our pork baby back ribs. Uh, these are two in downs. Um, they come really well marbled. What you wanna look for is a nice meaty rib. Uh, in order to prep these, we're just gonna trim any meat that's hanging off. Inspect the rest. We're gonna check the bottom. Uh, normally there's a membrane on these ribs, but these have already come pre-peeled. Um, if there is a membrane, which doesn't allow the sauce and the spice rub to actually adhere to the meat, which is on the undercarriage of the rib, we're just gonna go in with a knife or something sharp right here at the bone in order to loosen it up. And you're gonna take paper towel and just rip it off. Uh, but these are already cleaned, as you can see, and peeled. So these are ready to go and ready to season. So our first step, once everything's nice, clean, and trim, you've checked the bones, you've checked any meat that's hanging off and discarded. We're gonna rub for our binder, use our Windy City style mustard barbecue sauce with the honey and the sriracha in order to keep our low and slow sugar rub to adhere to the meat. So we're gonna start with a little bit. We're gonna start from the bottom. We've gotten the bottom of this rib seasoned up with our mustard style barbecue sauce. We can get the top one layered up. Then go ahead with our low and slow turbinado sugar spice rub for these ribs. Well, besides the Weber 18-inch kettle grill, uh, I also wanted to show you uh, 
pit barrel smoker that I actually created with a friend of mine. Uh, this is a 55 gallon barrel that we've hollowed out, cleaned up, uh, and turned it into a smoker. It's got two cooking grates. Uh, we've welded two charcoal grill baskets together. We're gonna start with 25 charcoals. We're gonna use some lighter fluid on it, light it as usual, put it in the firebox, and let those coals get gray and glowing all over. Then they're ready for the wood. We got our 18 inch Weber kettle grill. Uh, it's really basic and practical for the home backyard barbecue guru. Um, we're gonna start with 25 charcoals over here. We got them lit, they're getting gray and glowing all over. Once that happens, we're gonna go into our wood. So here over at North Branch, we're gonna use a mixture of oak and hickory. Uh, oak's very neutral, uh, good burn on it. Um, very good smoke flavor. Hickory is more pronounced, it goes great with pork. So we're gonna just balance both of those together. Um, both of these wood chunks that we're using are gonna be soaked first, and then we're gonna place uh, on our coals to get that smoke going. Uh, this is an indirect grilling setup. Coals on one side, meats on the other. The coals are ready, they're glowing, they're hot, they're gray all over, which means they're ready to set up the rest of our indirect grill on our Weber Kettle Grill 18 inch. So I'm gonna spread out these coals to the ends. Place our hickory and our oak. Set our grate up. Place the lid on it. And then we're gonna gauge the temperature and let this go for five to 10 minutes. Make sure we're up to 225 degrees, 250. And we'll take it from there. We got our setup here ready. Our baby bags are on our Weber uh, rib rack holder. We've got three slabs here seasoned up with North Branch Spice Rub. Uh, we've got our hickory and oak wood chips that are on top uh, periodically. Uh, every 30 minutes, we're going to add another 5 to 10 coals to keep that temperature down to 225 to 250 range. Remember, indirect grilling, so we've got meat on one side, coals on the other. Um, but like I said, we're going to periodically check this out every 30 to 45 minutes, add coals as we need to, uh, and maintain that temperature. Uh, it's been an hour, it's been maintaining a 225 degree temperature. That's ideal for barbecue, low and slow. Let's check it out. <laughs> All right, so baby bags look great. They're nice, rich mahogany. Um, you're gonna start seeing the meat shrink from the bone, which is great. Um, touching them, they're still tough, uh, but they're on the right track. We've added another 20 coals to it um, for the indirect grilling process to continue and maintain. Uh, we're gonna check it in another 30 minutes, add another 10, 20 coals, and then see where we're at. All right, so it's been about two hours into our smoke process. I transfer them from the Weber to my 55 gallon drum, uh, ugly drum smoker. I'm gonna finish them wrapped up. I'm gonna hit them with a little more uh, low and slow barbecue seasoning with the turbinado sugar, hickory smoked sea salt, a little country spice. Uh, it's gonna take another 45 minutes. These guys wrapped up, get nice and tender. You see the meat and the bone shrink, uh, and you're gonna see a nice, a lot of bend. It's gonna be nice and tender. Just watch.
we're at the carving stage on our baby bags. I just wanted to conclude it all. It took about a three hour cook time. Uh, we started with 25 charcoals on an indirect cooking process. Uh, every hour or so we had another 20 charcoals, a couple more wood chunks of hickory in the oak. Uh, in the last hour of cooking, we wrapped them in aluminum and then we hit it with a little bit more of our low and slow barbecue spice rub. So I want to now unveil the baby backs after all this time. And this is what you're looking for. So you still see a nice bend on them. The meat hasn't completely shrunk from the bone. Normally when it does that, that's what you're looking for in terms of tenderness. But you can see bending, it's about to bend and break right there. You know that they're tender. I'm gonna flip these over. You can see these ribs, nice and juicy, moist on the inside, not dry, not falling off the bone. Anytime you talk about barbecue, you don't want to talk about falling off the bone. That means that they already boiled. And what we did is we took the necessary time to create a fire, start indirect get grilling, season every step of the way, and then finish it every hour, replenish with charcoals, and keep that temperature at 225. Finish, we just wrapped it, Add a little more seasoning and let the moisture of the rib base itself. All right, so that concludes our backyard barbecue session. Again, it took three hours to bring these baby back ribs to you. Um, little sauce on the side, our Windy City sweet and smoky sauce. A little coffee and chipotle goes right in there. Um, we've got some herb potato salad and some tomato cucumber salad to cut through that heaviness. Always sauce on the side, no matter what type of barbecue you're talking about. Uh, but it was a pleasure. I want to thank Kendall College and National Lewis University for the opportunity to showcase North Branch Gourmet Artisan Kitchen Condiments here in Chicago. Uh, be safe, everybody, and have a great day.